Olympian Bobby Fink from Clearwater, well, he just broke an American record. Fink's parents say he has spent most of his swimming career at North Shore Aquatic Complex, and that's where we find eight on your side's Christine McClarty this morning. You spoke with Fink's parents. How are they doing? Oh, my goodness. The excitement is palatable. They are so excited. So he just broke the American record for the 800 meter free. To put that into perspective, this pool is 50 meters long, so he swam from one end to the other 16 times in under eight minutes. Bobby Fink grew up swimming here at North Shore Pool. The Clearwater native went to Countryside High and is now a senior swimming at the University of Florida. At 21 years old, he stands just over six feet tall, and his nickname is Wild Man. He was not afraid to do anything. Bobby started swimming before the age of one and began competitively swimming at six years old. Joe and Jeannie Fink and their two daughters, Summer and Autumn, also love swimming. It's a swimming family. In 2016, all three kids went to the Olympic trials. Go Bobby, USA, USA. Friends and family sent Bobby this video in Tokyo, but otherwise are trying to let him live in the moment. And we try not to bother him at all. So, you know, say goodnight, love you. His dad says he's excited and nervous, hoping Bobby performs his best. His mom is most concerned about the situation outside the pool. I'm worried about the entire team as a whole, you know, with COVID and the leak throughs. If Bobby makes it through the 800 free qualifiers this morning, finals are Wednesday. Fink is also competing in the men's 1500 freestyle qualifiers a few days later. He's my champion no matter what. As I tell others, uh, you know, making the team is, is the Sunday and making finals would be a whipped cream on top of that. And if you, if you happen to get a medal, that would be a cherry on top of the Sunday. More importantly than being a good swimmer, his parents say he's a good person. He does not brag, does not boast. Uh, he's, he's confident yeah. in himself and he knows what he can do and he knows what he has to do. And he's willing to work to do it. Seven minutes and 42 seconds. That is how fast he swam today. We're joined now by Bobby Fink's dad, Joe. How are you feeling? What's going through your head? A lot of relief. Um, more nerves again for tomorrow night now because the finals are tomorrow. Um, just super proud of her cry. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and those emotions, you're just so proud of your son. Absolutely. Aww. Absolutely. And tell it's me. Unbelievable. It's what? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Did he definitely make it to finals? I, I, you know, the last race going on right now, unless six of these people can beat his time, yes, he's in finals tomorrow night. And I tend to believe. Yeah, looking at some of the people in this race, he's going to he's gonna make that. And he broke the record. Tell me about that. He, he broke the American record for the 800 free. Yeah. So, uh, and I, I I'll, I'll say that, yeah, I, I kind of thought he had a chance to do it, but I thought he would do it in finals as opposed to doing it in prelims. Um, I thought in prelims he'd be closer to what his trial time was, but... Uh, so yeah, he, he, dropped he, five he, seconds. He, dropped, he dropped some time from that, yes. Oh, my goodness. He tells me he dropped about five seconds from that time. Just an amazing feat by Bobby Fink, and we can't wait to watch him tomorrow. Reporting live in St. Pete, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side. Oh, that is amazing. I love hearing from his dad there, too.